posted a photo on Twitter um, that you say was taken just moments before the alleged incident with Corey Lewandowski. Can you yes. tell us what happened? Yes. So, um, you know, I was at a party. It was a private party, and it was at the Trump Hotel. And I had met Corey Lewandowski for the first time. Someone introduced me to him, a good friend who um, is a witness to the incident. And we were sort of ushered into a photo together, and he was very drunk and after the photo that I posted, he smacked my behind really hard. And I told him, no, stop, that's not okay. And I said, I could report you for sexual harassment. And I'm looking at him thinking, he, you know, he must realize this is inappropriate. Like, this is, there's witnesses, this is a public space, it's a very didn't. safe place. No, because he said, go ahead, I work in the private sector. And he continued, he actually did it again even harder. So he did it twice. So you never yeah. got an apology. You did confront him. But yeah. this happened right around Thanksgiving. Why did you wait till now to come forward? It's a good question. Um, for many of the reasons most women don't come forward. You know, we're scared. I was scared. I thought, I don't want to cause any ruckus. I don't want to create any bad press based around the president. I mean, this has nothing to do with him, but I'm an avid supporter. Corey's an avid supporter. We play on the same team. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm gearing up for a potential congressional run. Right. And in politics, as a woman, it's, it's already a hard atmosphere. And he has a lot more power than me. And you don't want to create a war within the Republican Party. Party, but That's you met right. with detectives, you filed what you thought were going to be a sexual harassment complaint, but they yeah. told you, the detective said that this was actually sexual assault. Did that surprise you? It did. It actually really did because I thought it was sexual harassment. And when I described the incident to the detective, she said, this qualifies as sexual assault and no one deserves to be touched when they say no and the person keeps touching them. So that's where the assault comes in. Mm -hmm. And I was very much surprised. I mean, I'm, I've am i tried not to make it a big deal yep. um, and really just to say, this, this is what I want to do. I want to report this and I want to move on with my life. Okay, Corey Lewandowski told Fox Business, quote, there is a due process and that he also wants to let the process play forward. So you said you haven't heard from him. What do you want to happen? And are you willing to press charges, even if that means he faces a criminal investigation? I would rather not go there. I really want an apology. I really want... You'd be okay with just an apology? It's a hard situation because... This is a crime that was committed against me. And when I talked to the detectives yesterday, it was a three hour you know process. It's a very grueling process. You know, you you tell your story mm -hmm. over and over again, they answer questions, they ask questions. And they were had to remind me I'm not on trial, right? Because you feel like this it's such a it, it's such a big deal for a woman to come forward and talk about it, right. Um, but for me, really what I want, I want this to be resolved in a manner that all of us can come out feeling good about it. I don't want to keep dragging his name through the mud and keep the press going on okay. it. I, I want to talk about that video that we showed in the piece because there's a video going around right now mm -hmm. uh, that shows you playfully slapping another man's behind. His mm -hmm. name is George Harris. He says that it was not consensual. In the video, you can hear him say, take it easy, behave. So how is what Corey did to you any different than what you did to George? Well, for one thing, um, he didn't say stop or no. And when he said take it easy, and I was being stupid, it was at a party in Las Vegas, and I did stop. And if I offended uh, George, you know, I totally apologize and I made it clear. I've reached out to his best friend. I talked it over. I said, listen, if, if this offended you, I'm sorry. I own up to it. That's wrong. And that's really what we have to do to make sure we have a safe environment. We have to say, I'm sorry. Yeah. And if he had said no, I definitely wouldn't have gone and done it again. Right. And when he said, take it easy, I stopped. And it was a joke. It was funny. And if, if he has offense, then it's up to me to say, I'm sorry. Okay. So you're willing to apologize. Absolutely. To him. I've got to ask, you said that you're an ardent supporter of the president. Yes. You want people to believe your story, but do you believe the women that, the many women that have accused the president of sexual assault and sexual harassment? What I want is for justice to be served. And you did ask me if I would press charges or, you know, have the crime uh, go further than this. Right now, there is an investigation. It is a crime. And that is something that I had to come to terms with. A crime was committed against me. So it is, I do agree with Mr. Lewandowski, it is in the hands of the justice system. Mm -hmm. But for him to come out and say, listen, I'm sorry, but would do you, cause do you a lot side, of... But do you side with the women, that the many women that have accused the president? I can only side with something that has happened to me. Your own experience. I cannot, I, this is my own experience. I I also want to say that any woman who has had that experience needs to come out and talk about it and needs to file 
It needs to make sure that the due process does go in mm -hmm. because it is at a point your word against theirs. And, and, and you don't have to go public like I have. Um, it's sort of gone out of proportion sometimes. I think, you know, it distracts from a lot of the other things I'm doing. I'm looking right. at a possible congressional run. So that's still in the cards for you. Absolutely. Congressional run in Florida, Absolutely. As a Republican. This is not going to stop me. Absolutely. I'm a proud Republican. And what Corey did has nothing to do with the president. He doesn't work for the president anymore. Has nothing to do with the Republican Party. Has everything to do with his actions. And he must take responsibility for that. And that's really what this is about. If we take responsibility, we apologize. We can make our community safer.